closing statements. Ms. Buchanan, two minutes for a well, closing statement. First of all, thank you very much for, for hosting this again this year and for inviting me to be with you. You know, after 18 years on school board and four years in the California uh, State Assembly, I still believe that public service is an honorable calling. And I believe that people who are willing to do their homework and work hard uh, can and do make a difference. And it's my hope that if I have the honor and the privilege of representing you again, that I will uh, continue to do just that. You know, I want to work with the education community. We have lots of challenges, whether it's evaluation and discipline dismissal, weighted student formula, a new common core. We have challenges before us, so I want to work with them to help get through those. I want to continue to work with the business community to streamline uh, permitting and to help support our small businesses and our local communities. I want to work with the utilities and the clean energy companies to foster our transition to renewables. I want to work with the technology companies to promote, to promote innovation. There's much we can do, I believe, with technology and state government to make us more efficient and give us better data to make good decisions. And I want to continue to work with and support our local communities by working with local school districts and governments, by working with the chambers and others so that we have strong, healthy, safe communities. So thank you very much for your time today again, and um, I would be honored to have your vote on November 6th. Thank you. Again, it's truly a privilege to be here today. Six months ago, I would have never thought I had the opportunity to sit before a group like this. During this campaign, I've met more people than I have in, in the community than I ever had an opportunity to. I've become a better citizen, a better voter, more educated on the propositions, and more well around uh, as a citizen in general. You know, the, the question that we have before us is not that we have to settle, is not what we would do with the means and the influences that we have. It's to deal with what, what we're working with. I am not a professional politician. I have not served up in Sacramento. I do not feel that's a detriment because we have over $18 billion in debt, one of the least favorite places to do business, some of the highest corporate taxes, and some of the toughest regulations in the nation. This is what our professional politicians have given us. In addition, we've become irrelevant on the na national scale when it comes to politics. We need to have more of a blend in our state legislature on both representing both sides. Now, it would be great if everyone would tear up their registration card and register no party preference. Now, that would be a perfect world. But right now, there's left and there's right. And there needs to be more of a blend of those in the middle. I'm in the middle. I support Jerry Brown's plan for, um, for the pension reform. There's a number of items that I supported that are um, on the, that were voted on by the Democrats, that were supported by the Democrats. And if elected, if I'm privileged to have your vote, I will continue, I will serve both sides. Thank you. Thank you both for attending today. Yeah. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> I have a Rotarian magazine for each of you so you can learn a little bit about Thank Rotary. You. Thank you. As I said at the start, next week we have our final debate. Uh, U.S. Congressional seat George Miller and Virginia Fuller will be debating, same time, same place. Uh, we invite both of you to come back and attend the breakfast. We meet here every Tuesday morning.